Thank you, Vijay. It's 22 minutes to eight now. Up to 50 MPs are ready to revolt against it. Peers in the House of Lords say they're waiting for a signal to block it. And now Labour supporting trade unions are adding to the pressure on the Prime Minister to reverse the planned cut to winter fuel allowance for 10 million pensioners. He insists it's a tough decision that he's sticking to. And there'll be more to come in next month's budget. At the start of this week's annual TUC Congress in Brighton, Unite the Union will propose that the new Labour government should in Instead, introduce a wealth tax on the richest 1%. Well, the General Secretary of Unite joins us on the line. Good morning to Sharon Graham. Good morning. Watching Keir Starmer, as I suspect you might have done on the telly yesterday, he didn't look like a man preparing to do a U-turn, did he? No, he didn't, but he needs to do uh, a U-turn. We need to make sure that he is making the right choices and leadership is about choices. And he needs to be big enough and brave enough to do a U-turn on this choice. It's completely wrong. People do not understand how a Labour government has decided to pick the pocket of pensioners Mm -hmm. and at the same time leave the richest in our society totally untouched. That is wrong and he needs to change course. You're saying at the same time, but we haven't seen the budget yet. So let's focus on the winter fuel allowance for the moment. Mm. Can you justify a choice of continuing to give £300 a year to the very wealthy in a non-means-tested payment that many people simply don't need? Well, look, I don't agree that pensioners are the very wealthy. I mean, they've been asked now to fill out a 234-question form in order to get the winter fuel allowance. And let's be really clear here. This is saving minutiae in terms of money. It's £1.2 billion in saving. And at the same time, you've got the 50 richest families in Britain worth £500 billion. £500 billion in the hands of the 50 richest families. Why has Labour made a choice to not rich, to not tax the 1% wealthiest, which would get £25 billion back into the pot. Black hole gone, £3 billion left over. Well, let's talk Why about have they that. decided to put mm. pensioners through pain to save £1.2 billion, which, quite frankly, doesn't touch the sides of this so-called black hole? It's wrong-footed. They should change their decision. And he needs to be big enough and brave enough to say, look, I've made an error here. People make errors. Leadership is about choices and knowing when you've done yep. something The choices wrong. he makes is that Mick Jagger should not be able to get £300 a year in order to pay for his fuel bills, along with plenty of other quite wealthy people or very wealthy people. Now, you want a wealth tax. Let's concentrate on that wealth tax then. Tell us how it would work. You've told us who the target is. How would it actually work? Well, look, we're looking at a lot of different taxes and Unite will be uh, giving out that research actually before the Labour Party conference. But on the wealth tax itself, uh, we're talking about the top 1%. So those people that have got over £4 million, um, so not including mortgages or anything else, £4 million clear, and anything over £4 million, they would be taxed 1% on. Mm. That would bring in 25 billion pounds nick where's now, the evidence even, even it would bring in 25 officer, billion even pounds even... where's the evidence can you point to a single other country that has introduced a wealth tax that has raised anything like that i can point you to spain where dan needle the tax expert uh, says that that wealth tax lay, raised significantly less than one billion pounds well, you're talking about two different countries, and Nick, and of course, I'm very happy to give you the evidence of the £25 billion, pounds, and actually, economists have looked at it, and our figures are totally right. Well, so I'll give you Switzerland, big, I'll give you figures, Norway, I'll give you the, the fact the, the that the nine figures. European countries had Nick, wealth Nick, taxes and have abandoned them because they didn't work. Yeah, well, well, I have no idea why they abandon them. They do work if they're done properly. Um, and so the, the research that we've done, which is very, very clear, and I'm very happy to sit down with you and take you through it. It's coming out in publication before the Labour Party conference. The economists have seen it. So I don't think we're in any uh, worry about that. The point that we're making here is that there are other taxes that we should be doing A wealth tax on the top 1% is one of them. You do not start picking the pocket of pensioners to get £1.2 billion, which is misly. You do not do that when you know that that is going to affect some seriously affect people who are going to be cold this winter, rather than looking at a wealth tax. What is absolute fact is the 50 richest countries in uh, families in Britain, the 50 richest families in Britain are worth £500 billion. Mm. That is a joke that you have left that completely completely untouched and then decided to say to pensioners um, you need to fill out a 234 questionnaire in order to get your winter flu. Let, flu let's flu end on out. this Sharon It's Graham. wrong-footed, yeah. it shouldn't be happening, they need to do a U-turn. But you know, 
and I know that there are plenty of wealthy people looking rather nervously at the forthcoming budget, thinking capital gains tax is probably going up, inheritance tax is probably going up, pensions tax relief is probably going down. So there may be other ways in which Rachel Reeves and Keir Starmer are preparing to tax richer people. Is it that you don't trust them when they say that? No, I mean, what I'm looking before me, you know, I'm a trade union leader, Nick, and my job is to defend workers. I also actually have 100,000 pensioners uh, in the union, 1 million workers and 100,000 pensioners. And I'm talking on behalf of those as well today. The point here is when you're hearing words, tough choices, that says to me cuts. And this country cannot go through another round of austerity. It's not possible for people to go through another round of austerity. If it quacks like a duck and it looks like a duck, it's a duck. Now, I feel uh, that we're going down the wrong road. If they're going to put in cuts, then I think people will be very, very, very concerned about that. The wealthiest in the country um, have been at the front of the queue for 14 years. I want to see workers and communities now at the front of the queue. And that is why we're saying they must do a U-turn.